Hello guys, welcome back to All About SVP. In this video, we are going to see how to create an area map. You might be doubting what is area map. You can see here, right? SAP menu. This is SAP given easy access menu. Similar like this menus, there are many menus available in SAP. For example, last video we have discussed WDI, which means area menu for IDOC and DDI basis. And then similar J1 ILN, which is a old pre GST transaction area menu which is for configuring SYN you can see here I want to try today I want to create my own area menu with my own set of transaction codes it will be very useful for especially for end users so to create a transaction sorry to create an area menu I am going to transaction SC43 then I'm going to give some ZSAP and then click on you can see here if it is any existing menu you can click on to change the menu if you want to create a new click on this create new create a menu and I am giving T codes for SAP users so I want to create a user menu sorry area menu with certain transaction codes to give it to user see this is description sorry title t codes for sap users below this i want to add certain folders so first we going to see how to add folder this is a, we add when we need sub folder this we need to add this will help to add folder at the same level see uh, suppose first i want to start input some like master data transaction transaction t codes and then reports so first click put put a cursor here then click on enter at same level sorry first uh, it will be a main node and then below I will be adding sub node here so first I will put some folder names like master data then I am going to add transactions and then reports press enter and then execute now these are all in the similar nodes now, now I want to add master data sub nodes here like there are different types of master example customer master vendor master material master so i am going to add sub nodes sub nodes you can see here customer vendor material customer see now i have a customer now again I am this customer is one, will be one folder if you can see here in the change screen uh, I am saving it here now you see here how it looks T codes for SAP users and then again I have three folders here under master data again I have three so after adding transaction codes it may look different so uh, in master data in customer again I am going to add sub nodes here customer now I have a transaction codes xd01 xd02 xd03 see so if i want to change description i can change here create customer i will put only customer okay so execute now i am going to save it again and see here master data my customer now you can see here execute so it is working click on change again master data customer added and now i am going to add again vendor sub nodes here vendor 
xk01 xk02 xk03 press enter okay then under material i'm going to add again sub notes here mn01 mn02 mn03 now so far we have added master data so now i'm going to add some transactions okay first i'm going to add some supports here like for sales purchase these are two folders in transactions under sales i'm going to add other sub nodes like va01 VA02, VA03. Enter. And then again, purchase. I'm going to add two more sub nodes which are purchase requisition, purchase rec, and then purchase order. Now, in the under purchase rec, sub nodes. ME fifty one N ME fifty two N ME fifty three N under purchase order ME twenty one N ME twenty two N ME twenty three N Okay, and then in reports, I'm going to add sub node report. I'm going to do VL05, then VL06, O, and then VL04. Then other reports you can add it here, which are required. Okay, now we are going to save and then see here. So this looks good. I'm having first master data, then again customer, again in vendor, master data. If I want to see the transactions, I have sales as well as purchase. And to purchase again have to purchase rec, purchase order. Reports. These are the reports. I want to see in easy access now. How this looks? Go to Create a new session here. So I'm going to type here ZSAP. And one more thing. This area menus works only in easy access screen. When you are in different screen, it won't work. Even if you open with slash O or slash L. See, let's try here. ZSAP. So it won't work here. Only it works in easy access only. So you can see here master data. So whatever we have created can be seen here. So now I want to have this in my default menu. So last video we have talked about how to set a default area menu, which is go to SU3 transaction code and then go to defaults. Here you can see here. ZSAP saving and closing this again. I'm closing this now. I want to slash in and then open your new screen for easy access. Yes, by default, system is picking newly assigned area menu here i hope you learned today something new uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share